In this video, we're going to be comparing the graphics of the base 5300M AMD graphics against the 5500M 8GB VRAM graphics. And I've got some nice tests for you. And the summary, straight up to it, is I've got some good news for you 16 inches out there. It's pretty much faster to get these discrete graphics, even the base one, compared to my Vega 64 eGPU. So six film grain effects right now. I've got an eGPU plugged in. So the graphics are being rendered out by an eGPU. And let's see if we can get six film grain effects. And look at that right here. Via an eGPU, you can no longer play six film grain effects. Previously, I used to be able to play eight around four months ago, but now you can't even play six. That's right. For some reason, on the 16 inches, my Vega 64 eGPU runs slower than it did on my 15 inch MacBook Pro. So I can only do four film grain effects in the latest version of Catalina on the 16 inches. I can still get more on my old Mac. I think it's something to do with the PCIe lane allocation. The new graphics cards, they use 16, whereas the old ones, they only used eight. And uh, check this out of an external monitor attached, you can get six film grain effects running on external monitor on both the base and the high-end model of the 16-incher. So now I'm gonna disconnect the eGPU and instead use one of these HDMI adapters. Let's see if we can do six film grains. The eGPU Vega 64 could not handle this, so it handled it pretty easy. Let's see if we can do eight and it almost was able to do eight. All right, I'm now on the low end version of the MacBook Pro 16. Let's see if you can handle six. And look at that, the 5300M can handle six film grain effects. Let's see if you can handle eight. And no, it got to around the same position as what the 5500M could handle. That's more than the Vega 20 from a couple of months ago, and uh, it's more than my 560X. It's like three times more than that. It almost did eight. So with an external monitor plugged in, whew, good progress happening there. But there is uh, one interesting note. You still get the benefits of a cooler system with an eGPU. All right, this is a basic multicam project. I do also have one film grain effect on top, but it's two cameras shot on an iPhone 11 Pro primarily. The fans are slowly ramping up in this configuration and I have my MacBook Pro, the 8GB 5500M processing output directly to this monitor via HDMI port. And the fans are now 4000 and they're constantly increasing and they're going to ramp up to max. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this down and I'm going to connect the eGPU instead. Now that the display is being pumped through an eGPU the fans are ramping right down and they're very quiet in this configuration. This is just a basic multi-cam project, iPhone 11 Pro footage with one film grain effect and a couple of overlays. So this multi-cam project over here with one film grain, you hear the fan noise, you don't hear it on the eGPU, but with these discrete plugged into an external monitor, you will hear them. And this is what all the fans sound like when they're on max. So first the 5500M. 5300M base model. And this is the 560X 15 incher. Did some tests with Luxmark. We're getting around 10 and a half to 11,000. Right, this is another GPU favorite, Luxmark. And right now you can see these processes are pretty much neck and neck. 62 seconds remaining, 62 seconds remaining, 58 seconds remaining, 58 seconds remaining. We finished. The fans are on max on the 5500M. The fans aren't on max on the 5300M. And score wise, there isn't that much in it. So the graphics are very, very close. However, there are some situations where the 5500M is getting you around 25 to 30% better faster performance. All right, we've had this test running for a good six minutes now, and you can see the 550M is outpacing the 5300M. The 5300M is using four gigabytes of VRAM. It's actually a bottleneck over here because the 5500M is using 
57%, so there's less bottlenecking and it has more cores, so it can perform better. Interestingly enough, the fans on both units have ramped up, but that does come out of the cost, and the cost is fan noise. So the fan noise of my 16 inch spec'd out model, it ramps up a lot faster than my base one, the 5300M. So yeah, it's a, it's, it's a bit interesting. Um, maybe Final Cut just needs a bit more updates because, or maybe the, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I need to do a bit more information. If you guys know, let me know what the situation is. Could be related to the PCIe lanes. Unfortunately, as soon as you plug in an eGPU, Apps like Final Cut, they run slower. <sighs> yeah. Uh, but your Mac performs cooler. So take that what it is. Hope you guys found that useful. Personally, if I was the buying person out there, I would get the base model because the 5300M graphics is, is hella good. Hella good. And it's quieter than the maxed out spec'd out version. But, you know, if you need that extra 30%, Go for it. All right, that was it. The graphics of the baseline MacBook Pro 2019 version 2, 16 inch against the 5500M maxed out 8 gigabytes free RAM edition. Hope you guys enjoyed the show.